Well, this channel and what I've set out this channel to be is exposing the BS in the cycling industry. But to be really quite honest, the exaggeration or performance of products, not just something that's related to the cycling industry, it's related to many other industries. So what companies do is they overclaim the capabilities of their products. And the, the my, my previous job that I used to do in another life, I saw this over and over again. So it's not that the products don't work, but they don't really deliver really what they claim when you hear the sales pitch and we we're getting we don't just get this in the cycling industry we're starting to hear this all over and something that intrigued me was this tinder swindler and i know this is not cycling but i think it's a very good parallel to how people market the the gold at the end of the rainbow and people just fall for it and really when they get to the end of the rainbow it's just lead painted gold and that's what this guy did on tinder and he he rorted you might say rorted i don't know if it rorted is the right word but rorted a lot of money from lots and lots of women so let's roll an intro and let's have a look at the parallels of how this guy got money out of these girls and how that kind of is the same thing as what happens in the bicycle industry. Now we know in the bicycle industry, the companies are selling a dream and the dream is that you can go faster than your ability, your your output that you have, that you have in your legs, your fitness, you might be a bit overweight, you might not have such a great diet, but you like cycling, you go with your group rides and you go, oh look, if I buy this new bike, this like, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollar bike, I could go a bit faster than I really can now and I can be a bit more impressive with my mates and when we stop at the cafe, I have some cafe clout. And really that's the dream that the bicycle industry is selling with these high-end bikes. And I don't see that any different to this guy on Tinder. What he was selling, he was selling a lifestyle. He's selling a lifestyle on Tinder. And what he basically did is he put up pictures on his Instagram that the, these girls would check out, showing this lavish lifestyle, which he was living on other girls that he was rotting. So he, what he was doing is he's, he's doing exactly what the bothing industry is doing. He's giving all of these unsubstantiated claims like jolly fast more compliant it really feels fast it's the transmission now saves so many extra watts the rolling resistance with this new tires whatever fatter tires are faster all this sort of stuff when really the reality is that you could probably jump on most kind of top end bikes and you're going to go the same speed it's going to make very very little difference maybe in some ideal conditions but it comes down, it comes down to the good old engine, man. You know, and unless you're unless you're riding on perfectly smooth roads in a velodrome, it's probably not going to really make any significant difference. You're going to notice. But we buy into the dream, and this is exactly what happened with these girls. They bought into the dream of this ideal man, and it's amazing because these girls were were fairly average type of women. They weren't like you know some absolutely gorgeous girls, and they were probably you know, in their mid thirties. And they saw this guy, this guy showed them attention and they fell for it hook, line and sinker. And this is how the bicycle industry plays on us, the consumers, you know, they say, oh, this new bike. And we kind of get sucked and we go, oh, that'd, that'd be beautiful. They fixed up, you know, this and that, and they've improved this. And now they're saving so many more watts and it's so much more lighter and so much more compliant, blah, 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 blah. And we go, oh, that'd be great, you know, to have that bike. So we save up and we get the bike. Or we just, if, we, if we're rich enough, we can just buy it. But uh, this was the same story with this Tinder swindler. And what makes me, me laugh is that how people really fall for it and he was quite clever in the way he did it because he painted this illusion to them and got them on private flights. And then once he'd been seeing them for a while, he would ask them to have a look for an apartment so we could move in together and they would start looking. So then they buy into the whole relationship like we do with the bikes. We buy into this whole 
you know, more aero, faster tyres, faster everything. We buy into these marginal gains, which really are very, very marginal. And what he did was he then switched it. So what he basically did is he, he run the guilt trip the, where he basically said, oh, he's, 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 oh, my accounts have been frozen and I've got these people after me. And he shows pictures of his security guard that's been beaten up. And then they, they feel guilt for him or they feel sorry for him. And he says, hey, look, can you lend me like 25,000 bucks for the next two weeks? I'll, I'll get it back to you when I get my accounts unfrozen. So then they just hand over the money and then he asks them for more and more and more. And even after the two weeks, they don't get their money back and they still keep asking for more. And yeah, that's how he scams them. So it's interesting. It's interesting to see that people are making such a big deal about this and it's all over the internet at the moment. And Netflix even went to the whole length of investing money and making a documentary about it. But to be real, this sort of scamming is happening on a, on a, a second basis, a, a daily basis to everyone. We all see it. It's like a background noise. We see it from our emails. We see it from our text messages. We even get phone calls. And, you know, I'll say, oh, your bank account has been suspended. You know, click this link to unlock it. There'll be something like that. Or there'll be a phone call and it'll say, oh, look, you know, you've been identified as an, of an inheritance. Um, to fast track it, you just need to pay $1,000 into this account and we can get that inheritance to you. So it, there's usually some sort of hook or greed associated with it. But it's interesting that everyone's playing this game to some degree and it's amazing how in certain situations it actually shocks us and I'm not, I'm not shocked I mean really these girls should have been a little bit more careful and they should have been a little bit more aware I mean guys get scammed like that I mean we've all heard of these Russian girls Russian brides I mean you know you contact them and it's just some person on a little keyboard there's not even a girl there and they say oh yeah look I want to come and live with you send can you send two thousand dollars so I can get a flight to come and see you and of course you never hear from them again and these things are happening all the time these sorts of scams either they be relationship or there's some incentive for you to buy into that because you put a little bit of money in to get a lot more out and this is exactly what this guy this tinder swindler did and really <laughs> you gotta kind of laugh because this guy was pretty clever let's be real he didn't steal anything these girls gave him the money. They gave him their credit cards. They gave him his PIN number. He made other credit cards from that account because they gave him permission. They gave him everything. He asked, he just says, oh, can you give us 25,000? And they gave it to him. I mean, it's like, it's like a friend asking you for some money and you give it to him and then he doesn't pay you back and you go, well, yeah, I just, I just got kind of done out of some money. But it was just done on a bigger scale. So I don't really know what all the hype is about. And that's why, bringing it full circle, why I've made this channel. Because people buy into these products believing that these bikes are going to offering something that they're really not going to get. And even if they do offer something, it's so small, it's really going to make no difference. I mean, okay, you have a nice bike. It's a carbon bike and it's, it, it changes nicer gears or electric and you've got hydro hydraulic disc brakes, which you just can use one finger to brake. And the bikes are really nice to ride, and that's great. But the performance tag that they attach to these products, or the gold at the end of the rainbow, is really not what it's cracked up to be. It, at the end of the day, it turns out to be lead painted with gold paint. And that's why I just wanted to draw that relationship, because these sorts of things are in the whole world constantly there's people trying to scam people all the time and that can be a friend that's asking you for some money or to borrow something and you never get it back to people on the internet on your phone sending you information to try and hook you or as we know it's called phishing and even people in relationships people in relationships are taking other people for money constantly most people just go well i was stupid i lost some money and uh, I'm just going to move on. But this sort of thing happens. And I don't see why people are making such a big issue about this, you know, this Tinder, Tinder thing, Tinder swindler. 
So guys, anyway, all I can say to you is, is be really quite aware of what's out in the market because it can be it can be relationships it can be it can be when you're buying something and you're not getting a product that you're offering and let's be real there was one particular product that's been exposed on a on a few YouTube channels that you're probably all watching and that ended up in people getting frets and there was something a little bit uh, a little bit fishy about that company but anyway that's why we're here hopefully we can offer some of that extra information that helps people out and you know so you don't get done I mean I mean in a bicycle industry at least once you pay your money you're getting something but in other situations where some of these scams are is you pay over some money and you get nothing you get done and you just got to shrug your shoulders and you just got to move on but it is interesting that it is interesting to me that people are shocked about this Tinder swindler. I mean, there's probably thousands of these guys and even girls out there doing exactly the same thing and taking people's money for a dream. Anyway, guys, leave your comments down below. Have you been scammed? Have you fallen for a scam, like, outside of the bicycle industry? Have it be a relationship or that you clicked on one of these links once and then you went, you did the, the you know, the 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 fry pan to the forehead i'm a fool yeah just leave it down below and we can all can have a laugh anyway guys i'll catch you next vid cheers